Welcome back to another PvP build for the Flames of Ambition DLC. Today with my Magic Nightblade. Since release, Nightblades are the most dangerous class in open world PvP. With tremendous burst damage potential, insane survivability and mobility. Thanks to skills like Shadow Image and Shadow Disguise, you can literally vanish from any situation. And you can meanwhile basically one-shot targets with Incap, Assassin's Will and Impale. I will show you two powerful non-proc setups, especially made for the ongoing COD PvP test. But before we start, quick reminder, subscribe to the channel, leave a like, I would really appreciate it. First setup is a crit and pen base setup with Inferno Front Resurrect Bar. Second setup a more unusual build with 62k max magic cap. First showcase with 5 mana on body which gives us a ton of crit. Full impen with max magic glyphs. On the shoulders a medium armor swarm mata in well fitted. And a domi house heavy helmet. Also well fitted. On the jewelry spinners with full spell damage glyphs. And a Canis trait. On the front bar a spinners inferno staff in Nurnhound with a flame damage enchant. On the back bar a restoration a willpower staff with defending and a berserker glyph. Skills are elemental drain from Age of Reach which gives us almost 6k pen and Minor Magic Castile for Sustain. Impale our Execute. Swallow Soul as Sparable. Merciless Resolve gives us 10% crit damage with 5 stacks. And if you activate it with 5 stacks, you will shoot a powerful proc called Assassin's Will. Mass Hysteria. An AoE Fear. Soul Harvest as ulti for major defile and 20% damage increase. On the back bar, Dampen Magic to Light Armor Shield. Race Against Time for Major Expedition, Minor Force and our Snare Removal. Rapid Regen, a strong hot. Dark Cloak, another strong hot and it gives minor protection too. And of course, Shadow Image, the strongest skill in terms of mobility and the Restoration Ultimate Light Champion for Major Force. I'm High Elf here for extra Max Magica, Sustain and Spell Damage. Dunmo or Khajiit are fine too, especially Dunmo with more Stamina. As Mundus Stone, the Apprentice for extra Spell Damage. For non-CP I recommend the Atronite Mondus. Clockwork Cetus for the as Buffoot. 64 points in Max Magica by the way. Potions, the normal spell damage ones with Major Prophecy and Major Sorcery. Let's take a look at the CPs. The blue ones steadily aim for 10% more damage done with single target abilities. Enduring Resolve. 10% damage reduction against dots. Unassailable, 10% damage reduction on AoEs. Duelist rebuff for 10% less damage on single target. Rejuvenation for sustain. Bastion to increase the damage shield. Juggernaut for 10% damage reduction. YC is immune. And Ironclad for extra armor. Now, like in my previous PvP build video, I'll show you two powerful different PvP combinations. Make sure to have Merciless Resolve up and apply Ely Drain on the target before you start the fight. So, let's go. Start with a Light Attack into Swallow. Do it four times in a row. Then, a Light Attack Soul Harvest. To empower Assassin's Will, Light Attack into Assassin's Will. If the target is below 25%, use Impel at the end. 
second PvP combo, similar to the first one, but this time with armor 4. Three light attacks in combination with three swallows, then light attack into harvest, light attack 4 to stun the enemy to make sure that assassins will hit, and then use impale if the target is below 25% like before. By the way, try to flank the enemy before you start a combo for the extra penetration thanks to Nightmare Passive, which gives us almost 3k penetration. Before the second showcase, I will demonstrate how to use the Shadow Image correctly, which is probably the strongest skill in terms of mobility. At the beginning of a fight, try to position your image behind an objective, like a tree, stone, crate or just behind a wall. Try to make sure that you stay in range of the image, the max range is 28 meters. A good indicator for that is the image icon on your ability bar. If the icon glows, you can teleport back. If not, you are out of range and you will create a new shadow on this position. If you fight in a place with multiple levels, like for example in a tower fight or keep, then try to always place the image on different levels. One example, like here in the video, cast the image on top, kite below it, but stay in range if you are trouble, port back on top, and you can mostly escape any difficult outnumbered situation. Image OP guys, use it. Second showcase, on this one I tried to stack Max Magica. Our 5 set piece bonus is Crafty Alphique. We have infused on the big pieces, rest impen. Again with medium armor, swarm matter shoulders and a domi heavy helmet. On jewelry, two times willpower. And three times ancient grace with necklace. Inferno front bar, a nirn and a shockliff. And on the back bar, a restoration ancient gray stuff and defending with the Berserker Bluff. Skills are the same as the first build. I only swapped the Fear for Inner Light for more Max Magica. Instead of the Apprentice Monostone, I'm using the Mage. And the Arteum Pickled Fish Bowl is Buffoot for even more Max Magica. Grace, CPs and Potions are the same too. If you want to see some gameplay, I linked some old footage in the description below. I hope everything is clear, if not, don't be shy, ask some questions. And that's it, thanks for watching, have a nice day, see you in the next video, bye!